With her first ever solo exhibit titled Artistic Candy at the Murfreesboro Center for the Arts, local artist Robin Cadell shares her creative process and what inspires her. I have always really been into creativity ever since I was really young, but I wanted to be a fashion designer when I was younger and I really kind of did a lot with fabric and I just started getting into um, paper, there are a few paper pieces, and paint within maybe about four or five years ago. So I just, I saw a lot of things on Pinterest and I wanted to try them and that's how I got started. I went to school for fashion merchandising. I was really inspired by Princess Diana. When she got married, I wanted to be a fashion designer and design bridal. And then I decided, I don't know if I really want to get into that, but I loved fashion and actually got into retail. After working in retail for years, she decided to try her hand at her own creations. I started getting into selling and creating a dog collar line. And so was doing a lot of um, creative things with dogs. And I just really just started seeing different things. I want to try this, I want to try that. Things just kind of come full circle where I have made a few pieces where paper looks like fabric. I've used some things from my fashion where I really get into color. And so color has really made me feel very inspired. After her successful pet line, she decided to get her hands into whatever she could. I do a little bit of everything now. Um, there's a big movement for a lot of things being handmade, so macrame and um, needle punch and that kind of thing. So you'll see a few pieces of mine that are more fiber wrapped. And then I have also gotten back into paper. I really am a multi a medium artist, so everything, I try a little bit of everything. I'll paint a few pieces, and then I'll create a few paper pieces, and then I'll really kind of go wherever, whatever inspires me. Everything sparks joy with me now, and I want to go home and make all, all the things. I want to make everything. So, what advice does Cadell have for other aspiring artists? Just start. Just paint, just find something, a color that makes you feel excited. You can YouTube videos about how to do things. Um, I think that sometimes people feel like they aren't creative or they can't do something because they didn't go to school. But if you feel like you should paint, then you should just go find something that makes you feel excited and do it. The great thing about art is there's no right or wrong and it's a great way to express yourself. When asked why the arts are so important in the community, Cadell tells us that it's something she is very passionate about. Art is so unifying for the community and right now there's been so much going on with COVID and so much negativity in the world. It's so important to be able to get out and, and experience culture. It's, it's uplifts your soul, it makes you happy, it brings a sense of peace and calm. It's fantastic to be able to interact with local artists and encourage them, encourage their processes. The Center for the Arts is a fantastic place to come and support people that are performing. You know, we love this, this area in, you know, this place in Murfreesboro and it would just be great for everyone to come out and support your local art community. Cadell's exhibit has been one of the most successful shows at the gallery. Make sure to check her out on Facebook at R. Jackson Creative. For City TV, Michael Lynn White.